In this NAS A32 and FLIP32 quick tip, we're going to talk about how to get your GPS back if you lost it or that you're having trouble accessing the port information because you've updated either the version of the graphical user interface, which is now 0.63 is the latest, or as we record this on about the 6th of April, the latest version is 1.8. Now, if you actually tried to access the ports tab with version 0.63 of the graphical user interface, it wouldn't work. It was telling you that the update was required. So you're pretty much forced to update the board to version 1.8 of the firmware. The challenge with that is when you do that, you sometimes lose bits and pieces and you're gonna to have to do some of your setup again. So read the release notes, make sure you're clear with about what you need to move across. And I would just take screenshots of all of the different tabs as well to make sure that I have a reference so that I don't forget anything. So here we have my GPS working again. We've got a 3D fix um, on version 1.8 with the latest version of the GUI. Very quickly, I want to show you what we've done to get this board working for those subscribers that have messaged me over the last couple of days who have tried to access their board and been forced to update and lost the bits and pieces. Now, obviously, first thing we need to do is um, go into ports. Now, we can. Uh, this is very different from the previous versions and 1.71 of Clean Flight, so I can understand why people are getting confused. What you need to do is you need to go into the GPS side. It's UART2 is actually those pins 3 and 4 on the RC inputs. So you need to highlight that, set the board rate that you want it to run at. We like it at 115200. Click Save on Reboot. Then go into Configuration, right the way down to the bottom. And again, highlight GPS, highlight the protocol we're using. So we use G. Uh, U-blocks. Um, if you want a ground assistance type, you can. You can use auto detect or disabled. I happen to be in Europe, so I've picked European and pop in your magnetometer declination. Uh, you can look, Google that and find that for your location on the globe. Mine's just under minus two at the moment. Be aware it changes throughout the year, so I would recommend once every two or three months just having a look. If it has changed enough, changing it there and resetting it. Click save and reboot again, and then the GPS light will come back on, and you can pop into the GPS tab, and it will populate, and you'll find that you're back in business. So that is the trick to get this up and running. If you have a problem and you can't get your GPS working, hopefully now the trick is the port setup. Uh, once you've got that and then enabled it back in the configuration tab, you'll be good to go. If you have any problems or issues setting up the GPS, please refer back to my original video which talked about uh, GPS configuration and setup from the NASA 32 in much more depth, but if that was set up and it was working before you changed the version of the GUI and the firmware, this will work. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, happy flying.